Here's some information about V12 and V13 statistics enhancements. In V12, extrapolate statistics is designed to more accurately provide for a statistical estimate for date range based queries that specify a future date that is outside the bounds of the current statistics. This results in less recollections. In V12, stale statistics detection compares the random AMP sample with the statistics collected and determines if they are stale and should be or should not be used. In V13, statistics can now be collected on volatile tables. In V13, partition statistic capabilities have been added to global temporary tables. In V13, multi-column statistics are now available on both hash and join indexes. And lastly, in V13, sample statistics are available on tables, volatile tables, global temporary tables, hash indexes, and join indexes, including the partition columns. Teradata V14 statistics enhancements. There is now a summary option to collect table level statistics. System sample option allows the system to determine the sampled system percentage. Sampling options have been enhanced. For example, sample this certain amount of percentage. Statistics are stored in dbc.stats table to reduce access contention and improve performance. New views, dbc.statsv, dbc.columnsstatsv, dbc.multicolumnsstatsv, and indexstatsv. Show statistics statement reports detailed statistics in plain text or XML formatting. Internal PE enhancements for histogram structure and use include storing statistics data in their native Teradata data types without losing any precision, and enhanced extrapolation methods for stale statistics. Also, maintaining statistics history is an important piece for V14 statistic enhancement. Teradata V14 Summary Statistics, new in 14.0 table level statistics known as summary statistics are collected whenever column or index statistics are collected. Summary statistics do not cause their own histogram to be built, but rather they create important facts about a table undergoing collection that are held in the new dbc.stats table. Here are some of the items in summary statistics. The row count, average block size block level compression metrics, and temperature. One critical advantage is that the optimizer now uses summary stats to get the most up-to-date row count from a table in order to provide more accurate extrapolations. Here is how you can see the summary statistics. What a nice example. Show summary statistics values on employee table. Before V14, anytime you collected statistics on any index that was longer than 16 characters, they just cut off after 16. Now in V14, that default is now 25. So they'll store up to 25 characters in any of these indexes you collect on. But what's really interesting here is you can use the max value length and put a length in there to say, listen, I want you to store up to 50 characters because I think that's going to really help my system performance. In V14, when you collect statistics, it's going to go out and get all of those values, sort them, and then chop those into 250 intervals. And you've seen the histogram that it creates. Before V14, the default was chopping things into 200 intervals. Well, nowadays you can actually say, I want to see more or less intervals because if you think about it, we always list the most popular value in an interval. So if it's real wide, we probably could get this even more finite. Look at this nice example here. Collect statistics using max interval 500. And so now, 
This is going to just put this in 500 intervals. We could have just said collect statistics using sample, and it would use the sample from the system default. But in this case, I can say collect statistics using sample 20%, and it's going to take a sample of 20% of the data. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within.